Here's something to consider. If you have a friend whose friendship you wouldn't recommend to your sister or your father, your son, why would you have such a friend for yourself? You might say out of loyalty. Well, loyalty is not identical to stupidity. Loyalty must be negotiated fairly and honestly. And I must add, I think loyalty must be earned. Friendship is a reciprocal arrangement. You are not morally obligated to support someone who is making the world a worse place. Quite the opposite. You should choose people who want things to be better, not worse. It's a good thing, not a selfish thing, to choose people who are good for you. It's appropriate and praiseworthy to associate with people whose lives would be improved if they saw your life improve. This is something I talked about on my Instagram I just when I was reading this. Um, I talked about how this is not mutually exclusive to family, right? You're not morally obligated to support family, a father, a mother, a sister, a brother, who is dragging your life down and making your life more hellish. Just because they're your blood and this person birthed you, this person helped raise you, this person is your brother and your sister. We have, we've attached these grand sentiments to family and, and close friends. And we've put them on this huge pedestal that almost kind of removes them from taking responsibility for the hell that they can put on your life. And I completely disagree with this. Regardless of who it is, family, friends, if someone is adding a bit more hell to my life unnecessarily and a bit more chaos, then I will make a judgment and an assessment of whether this, uh, whether I have to distance myself from this person and remove this person or whatever the case may be. It, because sometimes it's just not worth it. Sometimes. You just can't afford to be dragged down. We're here once. That's it. We we got maybe maybe 80, 90 years, maybe, if your life doesn't end early because of some accident. I don't like. That's it. We don't have time for this, man. We don't. We don't have time. We don't have the emotion for it. It's not worth it. And you, by doing so, you create more hellish environment around yourself. And you then you bring more people down around you. You, you cause a cascade of negative consequences. This is, it's quite selfish to actually uh, not remove these poisonous people. Instead, if you surround yourself with people who support your upward aim, they will not tolerate your cynicism and destructiveness. They will instead encourage you when to do good for yourself and others and punish you carefully when, when you do not. These are the types of people you should associate with. This will help bolster your resolve and do what you should do in most appropriate and careful manner. People who are not aiming up will do the opposite. They will offer a former smoker a cigarette and a former alcoholic a beer. So the, the, the really the thing is, surround yourself with people who are aiming up. That's it. Shut the video off. Done. Surround yourself with people who are aiming up. And if you can remove that one poisonous person who is aiming down, then you will be better for it. Regardless of if it's family, friends, or blood. Regardless. Maybe you need to take more consideration and care into the decision you make. Agreed. But it should not admonish them from taking responsibility for their life and your life.